Hi everyone. My The People Speak speech is by Susan B. Anthony. So let's just get straight into it. Susan B. Anthony was an American women's rights activist and she played a huge role in the women's suffrage movement. She was born on February 15th, 1820 and died March 13th, 1906, which was unfortunately before women legally got the right to vote. Her family brought her up to believe in the equal treatment of every person, regardless of sex or skin color. She also played a part in ending slavery. In the 1840s, the Anthony family um, had a farm that became a meeting place for abolitionist leaders such as Frederick Douglass. Susan B. Anthony actually helped teach children then as well. Um, after the Civil War, she was focused on stopping the production and sale of alcohol before she turned completely um, onto women's rights in 1869. She gave many speeches on behalf of the National Women's Suffrage Association, which she started with Elizabeth Cady Stanton. Only three years into this, in 1872, she illegally voted in the presidential election because at the time, women weren't allowed to vote. Anthony quoted the 14th Amendment to justify her vote, but it was meant to give equal rights to all natural born citizens, so she was going to use this to sue and keep herself safe, but this amendment, according to the court, didn't apply to women. She was taken to a court case called United States versus Susan B. Anthony, and she was fined $100, which today would be worth $1,900. In the end, the court would rule against her, but she would never end up paying the $100 fine that she owed. The following speech is what was said between Susan B. Anthony and the judge for her case, Judge Hunt. So because this is basically a conversation between two different people, I'm going to be jumping from different personas. So the judge starts off by saying, has the prisoner anything to say? why the sentence shall not be pronounced. And Susan B. Anthony responded, Yes, Your Honor, I have many things to say. Your denial of my citizens' right to vote is the denial of my right of consent as one of the governed, the denial of my right of representation as one of the taxed, the denial of my right to a trial by a jury of my peers as an offender of the law. Therefore, the denial of my sacred rights to life liberty, prosperity, and then Judge Hunt cut in and he said, the court cannot allow the prisoner to go on. Susan B. Anthony responded to that by saying, but your honor will not deny me this one and only poor privilege of protest against this high-handed outrage upon my citizens' rights. Judge Hunt responded, the sentence of the court is that you pay a fine of $100 and the cost of the prosecution. And Susan Anthony said, May it please your honor, I shall never pay a dollar of your unjust penalty. All the stock and trade that I possess is a debt of $10,000 incurred by publishing my paper, The Revolution, four years ago, the sole object of which was to educate all women to do precisely as I have done, rebel against your man-made, unjust, unconstitutional forms of law that tax fine, imprison, and hang women while they deny them the right of representation in the government, and I shall work on with my might and main to pay every dollar of that honest debt, but not a penny shall go to this unjust claim. And I shall earnestly and persistently continue to urge all women to the practical recognition of the old revolutionary maxim that resistance to tyranny is obedience to God. The end. So that was Susan B. Anthony's almost kind of a debate against the judge of her case. In the end, he was just not going to let it slide that just because she's a woman and she tried to vote in a presidential election, that means that she has to pay a fine. And so she did end up <laughs> being guilty of this, I suppose, but she never ended up paying the $100, which... I think is really great for her. Um, that's the end of this speech and I can't wait to see the rest of them. Bye!